morning everyone morning so we're about to leave our hotel in vancouver yep. and head down to the cruise terminal where we're going to be embarking on the discovery princess and doing a seven night cruise around alaska so it's the inside passage route that we're doing yes yeah so so excited yeah we are really excited <laughs> this ship is still relatively new is it like a I year old not even a year old maybe i think march 2022 it did its maiden voyage so, so just over a just year. over yeah. a year old so yeah uh we're gonna have so much discovery princess and alaska content so we're going yeah. to be doing a mixture of like the ports mm -hmm. that we come off at and the excursions and stuff and then we're going to be doing a lot of ship content food ship tours rooms the normal stuff that we do on these cruises and it is our first time trying a princess cruise mm -hmm. which we're really excited about and a big thing that princess kind of rave about that they've got is this medallion thing yeah. so like i say first time we're not sure of it either nope. but we're going to bring you along and show you how to use that because it's a really really useful tool yeah we hope if, are, you're if you're going on a princess cruise, yeah that yeah. app looks really good as mm. well so yeah it's a big learning curve for us <laughs> and hopefully this helps you out as well um we're gonna try and get an uber or a lyft down there now um about half a mile we are from it not too far but it's coming up very expensive at the moment i don't know whether it's coming up it's a busy time i think they want like 25 canadian dollars for an uber at the moment i guess they know when people are embarking the ship so they maybe put the prices up but we've got to get there somewhere i ain't walking with all these cases so but this is just complete bucket list and yeah. we're just so excited so let's go figure <laughs> this out yeah and we'll see you down there Okay, so we've just been dropped off there by the lift. Uh, we are at the Canada Place. This is the cruise port. He's just dropped us off here at the side of the road a bit. Uh, he did try to go down there, yeah. Yeah, he should have gone down there, but the police weren't letting him. The he traffic seemed to be letting the traffic people, yeah. They're not letting him, but they're letting cars down there now, so I he think just dumped the, his ear. <laughs> I think, yeah, because there's a queue of them now, so maybe I think they were just stopping people. But he's chucked out here. There's people walking down this ramp. It does yeah. say down here, cruise ship terminal just above Stacey's head there that is the Discovery Princess so we'll get down we did see the ship as he drove past us so I think it's about 10 30 now and we can get on from like half 11 so to ever wonder down we'll just follow the people even if cases. we can yeah drop his cases off and yeah see, we'll, we'll, go, see. we'll, we'll go try to do that let's just go this way anyway so it looks like uh, we can see a lot of people over that way it looks like there's um, coaches come under here I can see embarkation over that way so well, the ship's that way <laughs> maybe you have to go round no that's right the ship is there the people are there and we're going that way <laughs> i think stacy's still a bit muddled up with this uh, jet lag right so here's the entrance now this isn't just for princess uh, there is royal caribbean sorry i'm trying to pull the car the uh, case over carpet here uh oh princess discovery to the left up that way oh so there might be three ships in it looks like there might be the discovery princess the, the Holland America, which we can't pronounce, but we have seen that ship, it looks quite nice. And the brilliance of the sea. So let's figure out where we go in all this madness. So this queue is the queue for just our ship's backdrop. So make sure you get here with plenty of time. It's a good job we've come early. Right, so this is a little bit of a mess and look at Stacey's face. So. Yeah, we're in this queue, which now is a queue for an elevator, which you have to take your bags upstairs. Uh, this queue is just for the elevator, or you can go up the escalators. I've no idea, but all three cruise ships are all in this line. If I wasn't excited to go Alaska, I'd be kicking off. It just makes no get sense. Get on that ship. Well, it's yeah, so shambolic. It is. You have to get a lift upstairs, so we're queuing for lift, but then they're also shouting stairs, and people carry these up the stairs. You can't carry bags luggage up the stairs like this do get this at southampton right so this is just absolutely Chaos. ridiculous he wasn't so we're, we're laughing anyway He's we just got to carry all this down some stairs we got down. out of that queue and just carried it all down well kept down carried it all down stairs. <laughs> and then drop this off and then we don't know where we're going we just we're honestly laughing so we don't know what else to do right so once you've caught your first lift down or elevated <laughs> it, not like us we got the stairs you then have to wait in this other queue to get the elevator back up. Or oh, there's more stairs, so we're taking the stairs. I, d I just keep laughing, honestly. I don't know what's going on. Right, so once you get upstairs and you're knackered, depending on how many ships are in, 
there's all different uh, entrances just follow your signs so obviously that's Holland America line this one's Discovery Princess we have to pick up a medallion somewhere I don't know where we have to pick that up but we'll tell you when we find it it's never ending queues today people so this is our queue that's the Holland America one and then the other side of that is the Royal Caribbean oh geez I'm sweating so if you live in America maybe North America not 100% sure you can have your medallion posted out to you we couldn't so we've had to join the queue the big queue for um, to get the medallion so I don't know if this is just checking in and the medallion or if this is just to get your medallion we'll tell you once we've all figured it out ourselves right so if the queue for the buffet is this long when we get on the ship I'm done for that's it I'm no jumping we overboard can you took me overboard i'm staying in vancouver right okay so there's your little medallion comes with a little lanyard to wear around your neck we have brought um some apple tags watch straps yeah i think you can get like necklaces bracelets things like that but we just brought like the wristband things you don't want to be wearing this all cruise yeah so now i don't know if we've got to do customs or security yeah but we might have to do customs because we are technically foreigners so we'll let you know there's another queue here. We're now outside, so at least we're getting a little bit of fresh air. Oh, that's the Royal Caribbean. Was that the brilliance of the sea, Stace? Big brilliance of the sea. Yeah. So. so I'm exhausted. I know. <laughs> right, so we've just come down some more steps. This is the original queue we were in before for the lifts. So now, where are we going? Number three, security and US Customs and Border Protection. See, I said there was some kind of customs. <laughs> more queues. One hour later. Right, almost two hours later, and we're almost there. So we're uh, we've obviously come on this cruise. We're like, oh, we'll go from Vancouver, fly nine and a half hours, get away from the bridge. You know what I mean? And we were in the queue, and all I heard behind was proper Blackpool accent. Um, don't get this with P and O, do you? I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, look, there's the ship. So we need to get on. So we're, we're gonna rush up to the sanctuary because we want to try and book this for one of the days. And you have to book it as soon as you get on. So we're just gonna rush up there and see if we can get it booked for that day. And then we'll have a look around. There's oh, the there. And then we'll go with a buffet off some pizza or something. Oh, so nice. Right, so this is the atrium. Just show you very quickly, we've got the welcome aboard flags going. And it looks so nice. It's a bit loud, we'll show you this properly after. The reason we rushed straight onto the ship and didn't show you much straight away was because uh, we came straight to the sanctuary, which is at the front of the ship on deck 18. We wanted to get this boot for our glacier day because it sells out so quick apparently and you can't pre-boot it. So we came here, boot this, it cost us $60. Not sure if it's American or Canadian, probably American. Um, for the whole day. Sometimes you can book it for a half day in the morning, half day in the afternoon, but we've got it for the full day because that's the only thing they're doing on the glacier days. It is so, more expensive on the glacier yes, days as well. It's slightly under cover here. Uh, not fully, there is gaps, but you get your own lounges for the whole day. We have already pre-picked our lounges. We've got front facing ones, got really good ones and you get uh, blankets. You can come and go as you please all day. So you, you haven't got to think I've got to be there straight away in the morning that's it i can't leave but they are your tables and you get um you get some afternoon tea you can have obviously with your medallion app they will bring you drinks and stuff straight to you when you order them on the phone so we really w wanted to get this boot so let's go explore yes. more of this amazing ship now because like i say we literally ran on it oh, oh there's the sign there the discovery princess let's go exploring or to the buffet to the buffet the buffet right so just to show you there's the how do you pronounce this we're going to just call it the new amsterdam and then over there is the uh was that the brilliance of the sea i keep forgetting brilliance of the there's seas. so many royal caribbean ones so like we said when we were getting on there's three ships leaving today so that's why it was so so busy what we probably recommend there must be some kind of app somewhere where if you are 
um, embarking from Vancouver where you can maybe check see how many ships are in apps or websites where, there must be something surely because obviously like we've mentioned it was very very chaotic didn't know where to go and maybe just check if it's just your ship that's in and leaving then maybe you'll be okay but there's three ships worth all so you know the, what i mean yeah. when we walked down here yesterday yeah we walked down here and there was another princess in and there was only one yeah we didn't realize that there'd probably be like room for free we just thought oh it's a small port because we've used to being used to going from say southampton yeah each where it, cruise uh, line has their own two exactly it's just one here so it's chaos so get yeah. here early I'd, I'd just get here for eight o'clock yeah <laughs> straight to the buffet oh my god people this has got to be the best buffet on a cruise ship we have ever been to yeah this is absolutely amazing everything just looks like so good i've thrown a bit of everything on i've got a piece of bread I've obviously maybe, obviously yeah i've got more bread because i've made my own chicken burger i've got a beef brisket more bread sandwich <laughs> that's a lot of bread isn't it? yeah you know what i aren't bothered and i've got some fries i've got some chicken breast it looks really really good i'll show you mine because mine's a little bit more uh varied so i've got some salmon i've got the same brisket sandwich some grilled asparagus some chicken breast we've got a, a spicy chicken wing some chicken al baked chicken alfredo honestly we were like oh my god can we have a bigger plate please and can i just say we're eating at this buffet i'm just looking over now and it's got like the canadian the mountains in and it's just like wow now i've tried some of this food and I, to be honest, I've only tried the asparagus and that's delicious. I would have waited six hours to get on here. Mind you, six hours if there was a buffet in the queue. I was going to say, you know what? In a few hours time, we're going to be sailing off to Alaska and I'm just so freaking happy. Manto. Buffet's done. Stacy wants to go Gigi's Pizza now. I said maybe give it 20 minutes. Let's get this muster station out of the way. <laughs> so yeah. We have to go, it's all in the app. We need to go to muster station C and then we have to watch the security video which can either be done in your cabin or it can be done on your phone or your tablet, whatever you're connected to. So that's nice and easy. But we have to find X muster station C now, which we don't know where that is. No, let's go find it. I know where Gigi Pizza is. I bet you do. <laughs> so up by the pool, we've got the sail away uh, little flags all around. They had these in the atrium as well. I did show that really quickly. But uh, we still don't know where that muster station C is. Yeah, so we'll come back. At, I think they said 4.30 when we sail away. They were going to have it indoors because I know it has given out rain, but apparently they said that that's changed and now it's outdoors, the sail away party. So, yeah, so we're lucky we'll be there. outdoors instead. If you do go to the cabin, it does tell you the, your muster station on the back of the door. But we haven't gone to the cabin yet, so we've just asked one of the crew members who said, our muster station, which is C, is on deck seven. Now, deck seven is the same deck as the pizza place. Just saying, just saying. Right, so we just checked in it to our muster station C, which is honestly, couldn't make this up. Luke, next to Gigi's Pizza. I told you it is meant to be. And all you have to do is literally just tap your little medallion on the thing and that's it. So we need to watch the safety video, which like I said, we can do on his phone yeah. while sitting and eating pizza. Yes. Are we sitting eating pizza? Yes. Don't judge us, okay? Don't you dare judge me, I've had no breakfast. And the last thing I had it was a Tim Hortons donut yesterday, so don't you judge me. Because it's literally been 20 minutes since we were in that buffet. Now, now the judging has stopped. So this is Gigi's Pizza. This is the like free on board uh, pizza dining room. Now, I think I've read before we come that you normally have to pre-book in here. You right. have to join like a queue or something, but I don't know whether it's different because it's embarkation day, but he just let us walk straight in. Yeah. So. But we didn't tell him we'd been the buffet, so. Yeah, please don't tell him. I think the sauce on my chin might have told him. I think as well, on it used to formally be known as Alfredo's on the Princess cruise ships, right. and then he changed it to Gigi's. Oh, okay. So I don't know why that is, but... As and I said, it's our first Princess Cruise, so we only know it as Gigi's, but... And I don't care what it's called, just give me some bloody pizza. I think it needs to be called Greedy's after us, too. If you judge me, I'm going to find a way 
to block you from the channel if you judge me. Okay, <laughs> these look delicious. This is just ridiculous now. At least the massive army, at least the thin crust. Yeah. But I'm going to tell myself, at least the thin crust. They're like a kind of Neapolitan style pizza. I did go over and uh, see him make him fresh. I'll put that little clip over now. You can watch him make it. Oh. It'll be like an advert for Slimming World. When we get off the ship, it'll be like a before and after, but we like the opposite way. When we get off, we'll be like the before. Something you know like what that. I mean? Yeah. <sighs> Rice, I'm going in there with me margarita. That is so, so nice. Really nice tomato sauce on there. Love the cheese. It's just all absolutely delicious. So I had one that I can't pronounce, but it's got mussels and prawns on. Well, mine seems a bit uh, wetter than yours. Oh, the one thing that's not on the menu, which we would have had probably, even though we've just been a buffet, was garlic bread. Would have liked some garlic bread. I've had Stacey's enough. Face. I've had enough bread. <laughs> I can't eat any more. Mine's got like garlic and prawns and mussels on. They're only little prawns. I do like a seafood pizza, and that's really nice. That pizza crust is so like so soft on the crust there. Oh. And then again, food with a view. If you just look over Kev's shoulder, so that's the view over the city of Vancouver there. Absolutely beautiful. Right, so look how nice the atrium is. They're not clapping for me by the way, they're clapping for the singers. It's really nice in here, really bright. Loads of seating, we've got this nice seating area in the middle. Stacy's trying to get me go for more food over here at this world marketplace thingy where you can get sandwiches and cakes from. I've told you Stace, we aren't having it. Okay. Maybe in another hour. No, we're only joking, that's it now for food. Right, so we've just got to the cabin now. <laughs> so we are going to show you one of the new features for us, like on a princess tour. With the little medallions here that I can't wait to put on my wrist because this is so annoying. It was dipping in my food at the buffet. I know. It was dipping on my pizza. I can't wait to put it on a wrist strap. Yeah. These are annoying round here. But, Luke, there's nowhere, so cool. nowhere to swipe cards because you don't get a <laughs> card because Luke, it knows you are here. It's already unlocked the door. So, Stace. So as we were walking towards the cabin, it unlocked. And what the cabin steward just said is if you get to it and like it's just done now, it's locked. So if you get here and you just hover around and do nothing, the door will just automatically lock and then you have to get your medallion and just pop it on there. Welcome, Stacey. And the and green light comes on. Yeah. And it opens. That's cool, that this is. is. This I know, this is so cool. He did mention that it could detect you from as far away as like where them suitcases are at the end. So if you're stumbling back to your cabin after you've had a few, it'll just be all on that for you. You haven't got to mess around with your car trying to find it. Bonus. So like I said, this is the embarkation video and our first princess cruise. So we are going to do a full video on the medallion and how it works and things like that. And with the whole the app. app. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, once we've got used to it a little bit more, we'll explain how it all works. We're just, like say, getting the gist of it ourselves. But I do know, I did read before we come, that if you do lose your medallion, they will just go and let them know and they'll cancel it and they'll provide you with a new one free of charge. So you don't have to pay for it. So don't worry about that. Right, so first impressions are it's so light and it feels so nice and bright, both on the ship and in the cabin. We've only been in, you know, a few seconds and it's really nice. Yeah, we were just saying walking down the like corridors to the cabin because it's so bright and light, it just feels a lot more bigger, you know, not so like claustrophobic. Yeah. Because we have this time, this is our first time, we are going to do a full video on this now, so we're not going to give you a tour. Um, but we have had an inside cabin and that's our first time we've ever had an inside cabin. I was a little bit worried because I can get a little bit claustrophobic, but I think it seems it seems fine so far. I'm going to be absolutely fine. Yeah, and especially considering, was the price, was it an extra almost, was it, it was either between 900 and 1,000 pounds extra for, the balcony for both of us nights. for the cabin, yeah. which we felt wasn't justifiable considering that could get us another cruise maybe or something. I was going to say, when we go home and we do a review video, we're going to let you know how much the cost of this whole cruise has been, like with the cruise and stay with Vancouver, Seattle, and the cruise to Alaska. Flights. How much everything's cost with the flights and everything. Because I know a few of you have shown interest that you're looking at Alaskan cruise yourself, especially from the UK. So we'll let you know how much everything has cost and why we didn't top for the extra £900, £1,000 for the balcony room. But, what have you got in your hand, Stace? 
So they've left me a little. Because why on this cruise? It is also my birthday. Woo! I'm only kidding. I'm not too bothered about it. <laughs> but they've left me a little thing to say. Hand this in at the restaurant, and they're gonna do something. For embarrass me, it. They're gonna embarrass me, basically. Yeah. So if you are celebrating an anniversary or anything like that, just let them know when you boot the cruise. Obviously, my date of birth come up, so they know it's, it's on my the birthday. app. You can add. Right. So obviously, not just birthdays. You can add a wedding anniversary. Uh, you select yeah. it with your date, and it's just they'll leave you Engagement one of those. Or anything like, like that. that. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we're going to unpack now, which you don't need to see, and then we'll take you up to the pool deck where they're having the sail away party. And I wanna try and get some nice shots of sailing away from Vancouver with like the mountains and things like that. So that should be pretty cool. And hopefully that rain does stay away. Fingers crossed, they Kev. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, cross them fingers. Oh, but a quick interesting fact about the Discovery Princess is that it's part of the Royal Class fleet of ships. And I think they did seven in total. Six belong to Princess, so were various different Princess ships. And the seventh is the P&O Britannia, which before these videos have gone out, the we actually went on the P&O Britannia. So it's really cool to know that it's like part of the same class of ship. They're kind of like sister ships, really. Yeah. Stepsisters, half sisters, some kind of sister, yeah. adoptive sister, I don't know. But yeah, it's nice that they're relatable and in that same class, so I thought that's really cool. So we're just going to unpack. It's going to be really boring for you guys to watch that, so we'll see it when we bring you along for the sail away party. All right, so we're all unpacked now. Just going to show you this quick. We did take the medallion out of the lanyard that it came with. It's a bit long, and like we did joke before, it, when we were in the buffet, it did like tend to fall in your plate a little bit. But we brought these uh, Apple AirTag straps off Amazon. We got a two pack. Uh, there's a blue and a black. They did multiple colors. I think we got both of these for eight pounds. And they're just handy to have. They pop out so easy out of the lanyard. And it just pops in there. It's silicon, it's waterproof. It seems pretty stable. It seems like it's not gonna come out there quite easily. So I think we're happy with those. Right, so we're just gonna head down to guest services really quickly, because we did buy the soft drinks package, not the one with the coffees, just the normal cheapo basic one. Because <laughs> it did say that it came with a tumbler, which we just want to inquire about that, because it hasn't been left in the room. Oh. May as well have it, yeah. they're offering it. Is it out of stock? We just want to know. And then I also want to know, because we had the soft drinks package on the uh, Medallion app, where you can order a drink to be delivered to you, it's coming up with a price for the soft drinks. Yeah. I just want to make sure that if we do order them, they're not going to get put on and we're going to get a hefty bill at the end. Because when we tried to do eat when you saw us in the buffet and at the Gigi's pizza place, the waiter said, oh, because you asked the waiter and yes. he was like, oh, don't worry about that. I'll just get them for yeah. you. But if we do obviously want to order them to us somewhere on if the ship. If we're by the pool. We don't want to be charged for it. No, exactly. <laughs> and then we're going to go up to the top deck. Yeah, for the sail away. 16, 17. Um, party which seems really fun but i am gonna ask at guest services as well how many passengers are on the ship because yes. i always like to know oh yeah because i think the ship holds like 3600 and something i was just interesting yeah. to know how many are on so we'll let you know how many passengers there is we're saying this that's if there's not a massive queue yes <laughs> and we'll go at another point and we'll put <laughs> if we do we'll put it on the screen now right okay so we've just been to guest services and um we no longer get the tumble that's been discontinued stacy go on how many passengers three thousand four hundred and something he said so it's so. almost full yes and then the other thing we sorted out was so if we ordered a drink on the app because we got the uh, soda package which includes sodas non-alcoholic cocktails and smoothies uh, so if you look there so we've ordered two non-alcoholic cocktails and they was coming up at seven dollars each but if you look there once you go to place your order it does come up saying total zero so if you do have a package whether that's a soda package or a drinks package or one of the coffee packages that's how it will work so we're sitting here we've just ordered it at the table it's been ordered it's currently being prepared and then it will be delivered to us right here right so we ordered two mocktails through the app it took about five minutes to come but we've got two drinks so it's been successful so let's cheers to the first drink of the cruise and here's to an amazing cruise to alaska cheers cheers
Right, change of plan. As we got to the lift, they put an announcement out saying it's now in the atrium. So we're back in the atrium where we did have a seat and now we don't have a seat. Welcome aboard the Discovery Princess and welcome to Vacation! You ready for a good vacation? Give me it, oh yeah! Alright, this ship might be brand new, but one thing stay the same. You came here for a good time and we will deliver. So let's kick this vacation off the right way. Please welcome your Discovery Princess singers and dancers! Anyway, yeah, yeah you, like because this is our first cruise from say America, Canada, America. We've only done Europe, probably, yeah, yeah, mostly from the UK. It's a massive difference, it's so much more fun, yeah, outgoing, lively. I think we're going to enjoy this cruise. <laughs> so, at the moment, they've got Sting concert going on, they have a lot of concerts, pre recorded concerts on this uh, big movie screen here. We've just ordered a drink, we're going to test the app. We're in this back corner now under this little hangover because it's spitting. Yeah, that's why they did the sail yes. away in the atrium. So we're going to see how good this app is. We want to come out now and get some like shots as we hopefully sail away soon. Yeah, because hopefully he's still light luckily while we're sailing away. We just want to get them, first time we've been to Canada, we want to get them last shots of Vancouver, so that'll be nice. And head to Alaska, which, wow. <laughs> So we've just left port now. There's brilliance of the sea behind us. The Holland America is underneath the bridge now. Yeah, that left first. We've gone roughly the same time, haven't we, all three of us? <laughs> we should have gone at half past four. We've left a little bit late. The captain did put an announcement out saying they were still waiting for a few guests. Yeah. So we are a little bit late. So hopefully you can make up some time somewhere else. It's just so lovely though. We're about to go past Stanley Park where we went to yesterday when we had our day in Vancouver. So it was really nice there. But yeah, but what a lovely place to set sail from, eh? Right, so we were just on the port side and we've ran round now to starboard side as we want to get this shot of the beautiful mountains as we were sailing away. What do you think, Kev? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We're not far from the bridge now, so we'll be sailing under there. Oh yeah, that's the Lion Lion Gate Bridge. Yes. Yeah, so we went over that uh, yesterday when we went to the Capilano Bridge. Just somewhere that way, I think. Yeah, yeah somewhere over, over there. there. Just ignore this yellow stuff here, we don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, ignore that. Look at the beautiful mountain. Yeah, look at that stuff instead. It's just... It's just giving us a glimpse of what's to come when we get to Alaska and tea of just all the amazing scenery. I can't wait. Yeah, it's gonna be lovely. <laughs> we still got Sting playing in the background. Yeah. He's still singing We're away. behind him now. <laughs> yeah, he's over there somewhere. Right, so there's the Lions Gate Bridge. We've been over it and now we have been under it. So we're gonna end the vlog here now at the aft of the ship, which is my favorite viewing point with the ship's wake. So, and we can see it now with Vancouver in the background. He looks spectacular, yeah. even though it's a bit cloudy, gray and drizzly. Yeah. It's still amazing. It's starting right now, it's just sitting yeah. on the side of the head and coming a bit keen because it's cold. Yeah, it's a bit, the wind's picking up a little bit. Yeah, but there's plenty more content to come showing you loads more of the ship. Yeah. Loads more of Alaska, almost said Africa. 
We're not going there, we're going to <laughs> we're going Alaska. Going to Alaska, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> who knows, who knows. So we hope that this video has just shown you and helped you out if you're cruising with Princess for the first time or yeah. you're also embarking in Vancouver. And I know we said it was a little bit crazy, but now we're on the ship and I'm loving it. I've, I've forgotten about that. That bit wasn't now. Princess's fault. No, no, that you was know, the cruise too. Nothing to do with yeah, Princess. Everything has been fine with Princess. Yeah, I mean, so far so good. Like, say, we've only we even been on a full day yet, but so far so good. Yep. It really does, you know, look amazing. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Exactly. Yeah. There's a seaplane just here as well. Look. Oh, yeah. We've been watching them um, from the day that we had in Vancouver. There were so many taking yes. off and landing and we were watching them all day. Yeah. <laughs> watching but, one now from a ship. Exactly. But we're freezing cold. So we're going to love you and leave you. Yes. So hit that subscribe button. Make sure you see the rest of our uh, Princess in Alaska content that's going to be coming up very soon. But thanks for watching, guys. Yes. We're going to go back in the warm now and get changed. And we'll see you more from Alaska and the Discovery Princess. So Bye. we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.